Good evening. On behalf of the Butler Clergy Network, I welcome you to this service which we have entitled, For Such a Time as This, an Interfaith Service of Healing for Our Community and Nation. The clergy of Butler truly pray that this will be a time for our community to find healing and peace in the midst of so many troubling issues in our society today. As we begin our time together, it is my pleasure to introduce the Reverend Liddy Barlow. She is the Executive Minister of Christian Associates of Southwest Pennsylvania. This organization represents 28 Protestant, Catholic, and Orthodox church bodies throughout Greater Pittsburgh. As executive minister, she sets a vision for Christian associates and manages all the organization's projects and relationships. Reverend Barlow is ordained in the United Church of Christ, and prior to her ministry as with Christian associates, she served congregations in downtown Pittsburgh and North Huntington. Welcome, Reverend Barlow. Thank you so much, Bishop Hicks. It is a great honor for Christian Associates to partner with the Butler Clergy Network in hosting this evening's event. As Christian Associates works across our region to build relationships among diverse Christians and their interfaith neighbors, we depend on local expressions of collegiality and connection, such as this network. In a time of division and uncertainty, your unity and friendship with one another shines like light. A better way is possible, and indeed is already springing up among us. So may it be so in all corners of Southwest Pennsylvania. I'd like to begin this evening with words from one of my United Church of Christ colleagues, the Reverend Chrissy Cataldo meditation she entitles, A Ritual for Waiting. First, you need some sand to remind you of 40 years in the desert. This moment isn't the first time that a scared and cranky people couldn't agree on where they were going. If you don't have sand, find a candle. Light it if you have a match. Feel the warmth. See the light if you can. Know that the light is shining if you can't. If you don't have a candle, find the dark. Under your blanket would do just fine. Waking up at 3 a.m. can work too, although it isn't optimal. Even closing your eyes might help. Think of rich soil and of canned green beans stored in the cellar. Remember the looming depth from which creation was born. Know that good things happen in the dark all the time. If the dark isn't working, take a walk. Find your glasses, get up, move just one foot in front of another, on concrete or dirt or grass or just around your home. Remember the two men who were bereft that their friend and savior had died. Remember how they met him again on the road this time, fully alive. Remember that on a different road, that other guy, the one who'd been so hateful, saw a light and was changed. I don't know if this walk will change you, but those guys didn't expect what was on their walk either. What I'm saying is the walk couldn't hurt, just please come back. If you don't have sand, or a candle, or a blanket, or somewhere to walk, seriously, who has all these things? If all you have is time and your body, tired and anxious as it is, then do this. Sit up, or lie down. Tell your knee to stop jiggling just for a moment. Unfurl your fists and stretch out your fingers only as far as you can. Straighten your shoulders. Move your head from side to side. Stretch out the knots. Take a breath. Count to four. 
let that breath out. Count to four. Repeat until you feel solid like a table or like a tree that still sways in the wind. Go get some water. Eat a bite of bread. Say amen. This is how we wait. And so we begin by lifting our nation to God and we pray. Almighty God, you have given us this good land as our heritage. Make us always remember your generosity and constantly do your will. Bless our land with 
honest industry, truthful education, and an honorable way of life. Save us from violence, discord, and confusion, from pride and arrogance, and from every evil course of action. Make us who came from many nations with many different languages a united people. Defend our liberties and give those whom we have entrusted with the authority of government the spirit of wisdom that there might be justice and peace in our land. When times are prosperous, let our hearts be thankful. And in troubled times, do not let our trust in you fail. Almighty God, you guide everything in wisdom and love. Accept the prayers we offer for our nation by the wisdom of our leaders and integrity of our citizens, may harmony and justice be secured and may there be lasting prosperity and peace. We ask this in your holy name, amen. Thank you. 
Our first reading is from the book of Genesis, chapter 1. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was a formless void, and darkness covered the face of the deep, while a wind from God swept over the face of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw that the light was good. Then God said, Let us make humankind in our image, according to our likeness. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the wild animals of the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. So God created humankind in his image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. Please join me in our responsive prayer. God, who scattered the divine sparks, so that we may find them in each other. But sometimes we forget to look. We are your glistening fragments, your shards, your stars. We stand here before you, ready to gather the sparks, ready to illuminate the world like one holy campfire. We may be scattered, shattered, but we will glow together, grow together. We will see each other shine. And maybe then, dear God, we will finally be ready for peace. Baruch Atah Adonai, Mevarek et Kol Ha'olam Be Shalom. Blessed are you, God, who blesses the world with peace. A prayer of gratitude. In Jewish congregations, we say this at our morning services each day. I'd like to pronounce uh, to introduce the pronunciation of the Hebrew that we will all be doing together. So uh, if you skip down just a little, uh, you will see, whoops, it's not there, but Eventually, you will see the modim anach nulach. So the I is pronounced e e modim. The A's are like the A's in father, a anach nulach. And if you get, can't get the ch, ch sound, that's fine. Just put in a K, anach nulach. And then you'll have the English translation, we give you thanks, O Lord.
for our beloved country, a beacon of freedom, democracy, and opportunity to the world. And for those who have sacrificed all that these ideals might continue. Modim anach nulach, we give you thanks, O Lord. For the American melting pot experience, for the variety of peoples who have made this land their home, for the myriad contributions they have made to enrich this country. Modim anach nulach, we give you thanks, O Lord for high hopes and noble causes, for faith without fanaticism, for understanding of views not shared. Modim anach nulach, we give you thanks, O Lord. We have been told down through the ages that for every time there is a season. Let us pray that this day, this hour, will be a season of community, healing, and hope. Let us pray at this moment that we are now ushering in a time for community and peace and healing a time of community listening, a time of community knitting together its wounds, a time of communities working together, hand in hand, to usher in an era of hope, a time of, of knitting together wounds, a time of communities immersed in conversations, a time for building communities that appreciate the stunning tapestry knit lovingly by our God down through the ages. Beautiful threads, some strong, some fragile, some in bright joyful colors of yellow, red, and white, and some in rich, fulsome, darker shades of the earth, and all of those God-woven threads reflecting God's creations as human beings and God's glory. Yes, there is a time for every season. Let us pray with our hearts, minds, souls, and spirits that this season, the one on which we now embark, will be one of peace and hope. to your heart, your sister and your brother, where love does dwell, the peace of God is there, to worship rightly and to love each other. Each smile a hymn, each kindly deed a prayer. Then shall the shackles fall, the 
stormy clangor of wild war battles are all the earth shall cease. Love shall tread out the baleful fire of anger, and in its ashes plant the lovely tree of peace. to your heart, your sister and your brother, where love does dwell, the peace of God is there, to worship rightly, and to love each other, each smile a hymn, each kindly deed a prayer. Hear the word of God as it is recorded by the prophet Isaiah. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will make for all peoples a feast of rich food, a feast of well-aged wines, of rich food filled with marrow, of well-aged wines strained clear. And he will destroy on this mountain the shroud that is cast over all peoples, the covering that is spread over all nations, he will swallow up death forever. Then the Lord God will wipe away the tears from all faces and will put an end to the reproach of his people over all the earth, for the Lord has spoken. It will be said on that day, Lo, this is our God. We trusted in him, and he delivered us. This is the Lord in whom we trusted. Let us be glad and rejoice in his deliverance. Please join us in the responsive prayer. Lord, you promise us a place at your bountiful banquet. You nurture us each day with the sustaining food of your love and grace. You consistently make room at your table. For another seat. Another plate. Another person. Another guest. Inspire us to embody your extravagant hospitality. Help us to reach across our fears and divisions with hands of welcome. Empower, Empower us to recognize our shared hunger for your peace and grace. Empower us to see each other as your beloved invited guests. Amen. Amen.
join in singing our hymn of love to pledge ourselves anew to that high cause of greater understanding of who we are and what in us is true. We would be one in living for each other to show to all a new community for community. For human community, our common past and future hope, our oneness transcending all separation, our capacity to work for peace and justice in the midst of hostility and oppression, Modim Anach Nulach, we give you thanks, O Lord for interfaith dialogue, for the chance to expand our minds and horizons, for the chance to enrich ourselves in the faith ideas of others. Modim anach nulach, we give you thanks, O Lord, for friendships with others, crossing racial, religious, gender, economic, and political differences. Modim anach nulach, we give you thanks, O Lord. Let us lift ourselves to God in prayer. My Lord God, I have no idea where I am going. I do not see the road ahead of me. I cannot know for certain where it will end, nor do I really know myself. And the fact that I think I am following your will does not mean that I am actually doing so. But I believe that the desire to please you does in fact please you. 
and I hope I have that desire in all that I am doing. I hope that I will never do anything apart from that desire. And I know that if I do this, you will lead me by the right road, though I may know nothing about it. Therefore, will I trust you always, though I may seem to be lost and in the shadow of death. I will not fear, for you are ever with me, and you will never leave me to face my perils alone. God, I offer myself to you to build with me and to do with me as you desire. Relieve me of the bondage of self that I may better do your will. Take away my difficulties that victory over them may bear witness to those I would help of your power, your love, and your way of life. May I do your will always. Amen. You shall cross the barren desert, but you shall not die of thirst. You shall wander far in safety, though you do not know the way. You shall speak your words in foreign lands, and all will understand. You shall see the face of God and live. Be not afraid. I go before you always. Come, follow me, and I will give you rest. Blessed are you poor, for the kingdom shall be theirs. Blessed are you that weep and mourn, for one day you shall laugh. And if wicked ones insult and hate you all because of me, blessed, blessed are you. go before you always come follow me and I will give you rest. hear these beloved words from the psalmist psalm 23 the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. Please join me in our responsive prayer. Lord, you are my shepherd. You provide me with guidance and nourishment and rest. Be with me in this time of darkness 
that I may see your light and share it with the world. Release me from fear and discouragement, apathy and pain, so that I may rejoice in your goodness. Walk with me in the valley, lead me to a place of peace, and help me to put my trust in you. Amen. Modim anach nulach for ourselves, for the spark of you that resides within me and within every other human being. Modim anach nulach, we give you thanks, O Lord, for health and healing, for labor and repose, for the ever renewed beauty of the earth and sky for thoughts of truth and justice which stir us from our ease and move us to acts of goodness. And for the contemplation of your eternal presence, which fills us with the hope that what is good and lovely cannot perish. Modim anach nulach, we give you thanks, O Lord, for our lives, which are in your hands, for our souls, which are in your care, for your miracles that we experience every day, and for your wondrous deeds and favors at every time of day, evening, morning, and noon, Modim anach nulach, we give you thanks, O Lord. Before we conclude this evening with our final songs, I want to extend, the thanks, extend our thanks on behalf of the whole Butler Clergy Network to the planning team for this worship service. The Reverend Dr. Verna Call, the Reverend Lee Benish, Deacon Mitch Natale, Cantor McCall Gray Schaefer, Alan Kitchen, and the chairperson, the Reverend Dr. Mary Kitchen. Well over a year ago, they began planning for a community event that would bring healing and hope in what we knew would be a difficult and stressful week politically. We had no idea when we began to plan this event that there would also be a pandemic to contend with. And in the last several months, they translated their vision for worship together to an online format. Thank you. We also thank Tom Graham of Frames and Pixels and Hill United Presbyterian Church for managing the production tonight. But finally, we also extend our thanks to you, the people of our community who have joined us this evening. Although we gathered in leadership here at Hill tonight cannot see you, 
we know that you are there. You have offered your time tonight, and you have offered space in your hearts to God. And by doing that, you bring hope into this world. Thank you. As we say goodnight, our final song reminds us that God has indeed called us for such a time as this. And where God calls, God also provides. And so we end this day confident in God's hope and confident in God's peace. Just such a time as now.